So for the first part of the problem, we just have to remember that the force due to a pressure is equal to the magnitude of that pressure multiplied by the surface area over which the pressure is acting. In this case, we're dealing with air pressure, so we'll use the value for atmospheric pressure, which is 1.013 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons per meter squared. And then we're multiplying by the area, and we're given the dimensions, 1.7 meters by 2.6 meters. So we multiply by 1.7 meters times 2.6 meters. Put that into a calculator, and it's 4.5 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons. So that's the answer to part A. Now for part B, which asks about the total force acting upward on the underside of the table. And this part is very simple because the underside of the table is still exposed to atmospheric pressure. So it's still going to be exposed to the same magnitude of pressure and the same dimensions. There might be a tiny, tiny, tiny pressure difference due to the, like, the thickness of the table, but that's usually negligible when we're talking about air pressure. So the pressure magnitude is the exact same. It's once again, it's going to be 4.5 times 10 to the power of 5 newtons. And that's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this, or consider donating to my Patreons, that'll help me make more. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.